Hi, I am Roland Maas, Product Manager, Power Products at ADB. ADB is a world leader in airfield ground lighting solutions in the IKO and FAA markets, providing advanced, integrated and sustainable solutions for visual guidance. With a worldwide presence and a 65-year legacy, ADB offers an innovative portfolio and expertise that sets new standards in safety, performance, quality and customer service. More than 2,000 airports in 150 countries have chosen ADB as their preferred partner for airside operations. Today, I will introduce you to the ADB Low Harmonic Constant Current Regulator Type, CRE and VIS, new CCRs that are highly efficient, help conserve energy and are easy to use. These pure sine wave CCRs are especially designed for the supply of constant current at airport lighting series circuits at various intensity levels. The high reaction speed of the CCR helps to manage present day circuits characterized by non-linear loads such as taxiway guidance signs, LED electronics and or individual lamp control and monitoring ILCMS systems. These standalone CCRs range from 2.5 kVA to 30 kVA and are available in 400 volt single phase or three phase supply or in 230 volt only then for 7.5 kVA regulators. In addition, they come with various single or redundant remote control options making interfacing to customers remote control easy and highly flexible. Today, customers face a number of challenges that are driving them to consider a CRE type CCR. The first being technological changes. Airfield ground lighting has evolved over time. The power of lights constituting the CCR load has dropped. But at the same time, linear loads have changed into distorted loads. Moreover, the electromechanical compatibility requirements and electrical standards have become more stringent. Customers also face rigorous CO2 emission reduction targets. And on the other hand, the necessary investment budgets for major infrastructure works have reduced. ADB's CRE type CCRs address all these challenges. The CRE and VIS CCRs provide high regulation precision and dynamic response through state-of-the-art power management technology, including high-frequency pulse width modulation, insulated gate bipolar transistors, digital signal processor and microprocessor embedded processing control. The fully digitalized control and regulation prevents tolerances due to physical changes such as temperature and voltage. In addition, the CRE and VIS variants are adaptable to circuit configurations comprising non-linear loads such as new technology LED lights, ILCMS that I told already before, and taxiway signs with light sources other than halogen lamps. Some of the key advantages of these CCRs are illustrated in these slides. Compared to normal operation conditions for CCRs, they use less apparent power for active or used power, which translate to a better power factor, especially at lower loads and lower brightness steps. Secondly, they offer low total harmonic distortion, which results in better communication via ILCMS systems. Finally, they provide good sinus output without peaks, contributing to a longer life cycle for electrical components, including series transformers and cables, due to reduced electrical load. Some of the other advantages offered include better match with new non-linear loads and excellent dynamics results in a more precise current regulation even with these non-linear loads.
Here you can see the CCR and I am now pointing to take you through the main components. The CCR type CCRs are Federal Aviation Administration type standalone units, each housing a complete regulator in one enclosure divided into three compartments. A low voltage front compartment, a high voltage back compartment and a control module. The low voltage front compartment contains the power, the control and monitoring printed circuit boards and a fused input switch. It includes the central processing unit, input circuit breaker, main contactor, IGBT control board and the IGBT driver board, power supply board and a remote control board and measurement board that are not shown here. The second compartment is a high voltage rear compartment that contains the output transformer, the current and voltage measurement transformers and lightning arresters. This includes the communication board, serial connection box, power supply input terminals and a line filter. Finally, here you can see the control module housing a customer-friendly, menu-driven control and monitoring unit with functional keyboard and alphanumeric display. Depending on the rating of the CCR, the units are supplied in two different versions. The 2.5 kVA can be supplied as a rack version and each CCR can be supplemented with external options such as a high voltage cutout or a separate wall mounted circuit selector. The implementation of the CCRs by ADB is fairly simple. The basic requirement is the floor print and once that is available the CRE can replace any type of existing CCR. One must take care to make the CCR accessible from the rear as well as from the front. To control the heat produced, it is recommended to allow for some distance between the CCRs. Finally, for interfacing with the existing remote control system, various interfaces as well parallel as series in single redundant modes are available. We have in total almost 2000 CRE and VIS CCRs successfully installed and operational. Some of our major references installed since 2010 include the Brussels Airport in Belgium, Schiphol Amsterdam in the Netherlands, Malaga and Santiago in Spain, Manchester and Heathrow in the UK and the airports of AXA in South Africa. These customers were mainly looking for reduced energy consumption and better match with new non-linear loads. In addition, some airports using ILCMS consider the low harmonic regulator as an additional feature to improving communication. Balancing the load over the three phases of the public electricity network was also an important factor for them who selected the VIS CCRs by ADB. To sum it up, the key elements of the ADB IGPT CCRs are the high operating frequency resulting in very precise regulation dynamics and the close to sine wave output. Additionally, there are benefits such as low total harmonic distortion, better power factor at lower loads and or brightness steps, even without tap settings, resulting in less reactive power for used power longer life cycle of electrical components due to reduced electrical load and finally better match with new non-linear loads. For further information on our CCRs you can go through the flyer on our website www.adb-airfieldsolutions.com under products or contact us at marketing at adb-air.com Dot com.